the father of the space age. That's what they call him. You know what he said? I'm not the father of the space age. That's the real father of the space age. Okay, now this guy who was at Cal Poly Tech, right? This guy, Jack Parsons, was openly a devil worshiper. He developed the fuel that enabled us to penetrate the stratosphere. Satellites could not have come about without this guy. In his diary that he himself wrote, he had a dream. This is 1948. He had a dream where he saw somebody that he calls Belial Dajjal. And he tells him, you are helping me. Okay, I'm not making this up. You think I'm making this up? Wallahi, I'm not making this up. You go look it up yourself. Okay, so where's all this stuff coming from? Where's all, seriously, where's it all coming from? <laughs> We're in the age of the Dajjal, you know. It's just Allahu Anam, when and where and what, but this is it, people. As far as I'm concerned, it's end game. Huh? study where all this technology comes from? Okay. You know. Read about the magic and the enlightenment period. All these scientists were magicians. They were all into black magic. You read about uh, Francis Bacon. He, I, I just read a, a, a biography of Francis Bacon called Knowledge is Power. Magic and, and, and the Creation of Modern Science. Francis Bacon was reading all these magical books. Arthur C. Clarke. Arthur C. Clarke Great technologist. He actually uh, has most of the patents that enabled the satellites, right? If you look at his interview with BBC in 1961, where he predicts the internet, he predicts uh, the cell phones, he predicts uh, texting. He said that by the year 2000, people are going to have handheld devices that enable to talk to anybody anywhere, right? Well, with that movie 2001, you're projecting us into the 21st century. I brought along my son Jonathan, who in the year 2001 will be the same age as I am now. Maybe he will be better adjusted to this kind of world that you're trying to portray. The big difference when he grows up, in fact, if we wanted to wait for the year 2001, is that he will have in his own house, not a computer as big as this, but at least a console to which he can talk to his friendly local computer and get all the information he needs for his everyday life, like his bank statements, is theater reservations, all the information you need in the course of living in a complex modern society. This will be in a compact form in his own house. He'll have a television screen like these here and a keyboard and he'll talk to the computer, get information from it, and he'll take it as much for granted as we take the telephone. Arthur C. Clarke said, and he has three laws of technology. One of his laws is no technology reaches a level of, of complexity, except it becomes indistinguishable from magic. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a Luddite, right? I'm using a microphone right now. I'm not a Luddite, but this whole worshipful attitude towards technology to me is really stupid. This is a book from the 15th century. It's a picture of the devil, you know, uh, and this is something, you know, Muslims used to sometime depict thing, but I want you to look at his hands. You see this sign? I, I don't even want to do it on film because people will take a clip and then have, have me in one of those pictures doing that sign. It's an evil sign. We should, don't do these signs, right? And kids watch Spider-Man and then they want to do the sign because Spider-Man does it, right? And you don't want to be a Spider-Man, right? You want to be a human man, right? Not an arachnoid. A humanoid.
These signs, even this one, which I don't like doing, but that sign, Muslims should not do that sign. That actually comes out of magic. These are signs that were, uh, they're, 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 they're magical signs. We have no symbols in our religion. Even this, the, the crescent and the moon is a Seljuk tradition. The Prophet ﷺ had no symbols in his religion. It's one of the miracles of our religion, right? Because this is demonic stuff. So that is a very important symbol. Now, this is one of, this is what they worship, these Satanists, uh, Baphomet. If you notice, he's androgynous. So it's a male-female mixture. Also making these signs. You see the signs he's making using this sign because 11 is the devil's number. Because 11 is one beside one. And you will notice that in their numerology, they use 11 a lot. And they like multiples of 11. 11, 22, 33, 66. They like these multiples. Imam al-Ghazali says in their magic, they, they know the, the, the secrets of numbers. And so they use numbers. The, the Prophet ﷺ, when they used magic on him, they blew on 11 knots. And this is why the Mu'awi the Tain has 11 ayahs, because it protects against their magic. So this is real stuff, people. I'm not making this up. This is real stuff. You either believe it or you, you don't. And if you don't, it's at your own peril. But this is real stuff. Sihr is a reality in the world, and people practice magic. And one of the practices is, is through the eyes, seducing the eyes in television and, and spectacle. It's the sihr of the ayyun. You can see Madonna imitating here Bofamed, right? Because she's one of them and she's a numerologist. She is a numerologist. She practices numerology. This is Lady Gaga that everybody's Gaga about. People tell me, you know, oh, you've got a lot of followers on your uh, Twitter or something like that. I, I don't even know. I, I, I did Twitter one time and regretted it. Um, but people said, and I said, to me, that means nothing. Lady Gaga's got tens of millions of followers. So the devil has plenty of followers on Twitter. It means nothing. We want to be on the account with God, right? We want to have the angels following us pleased with us, happy about what we're doing. Now, Maleficent, you could see, see Disney, they used to have films where the witch was evil and, and now they entice them. This is the fitna. They make a beautiful, see, they used to make them old hags. If you, if you see the old film, the witch was old hag, but we get them by degrees. Now they take somebody that many people consider a very beautiful woman and, and they put her in Bofemet's mask and then it becomes seductive. He takes people by degrees. I mean, what is this? Why are they doing this? Why are you wearing horns? We're human beings. We're not demons. And then you can see these signs. Why do they use these symbols? Now, this man over here, LeVay, John LeVay started the Church of Satan. He wrote a Satanic Bible, and he explained that that symbol that they're all doing, that you saw on the that Muslim graphic of the devil, that symbol, he said, was a curse symbol of, of devils. That's the way they put curses on people. I understand that, uh, what are you doing? I'm giving a blessing to the, to the audience. I don't think they appreciate it. They were throwing it back. <laughs> well, they thought it was a curse. Uh, Would you like me to show them how the sign of the curse works? The sign it's of completely the curse? different. How does it go? No, not at you, not at you people out there in the audience, but this is the difference. Aim it toward Red China, would you? <laughs> this is the sign of the horns, a cursed sign, the two fingers extended. This way, spread apart for sort of shotgun blast, you know. I always figured if I ever met the, de the devil, it would have dirty fingernails. Go on. No, they're not. <laughs> yes, they are. Well, well. Dirty, dirty fingernails. Well, that's because I've been uh, fooling around with your equipment. Never back mind. Back. Don't blame it on the studio. Go on with it. All that. right. So that's the sign of the horn, and then what happens? Is that it? Well, the other ones, too. Yeah, what are the other ones? The other ones, one of them's the pox sign. That's three fingers extended. A pox on you? A pox on you. During the Middle Ages, this yeah. was... Oh, yes. Yeah. But originally, You're a bad cat. 
You well, <laughs> you have to be bad to be good. Don't Is it you? true that you teach people how to make voodoo dolls with six pins in them to, uh, to hurt people? That's right. I believe that hate is necessary in a controlled way just as much as love is necessary. But Right? And you've got people at rock concerts. They're all doing it, thinking it's cool. Marilyn Manson was a follower of Anton LaVey. He has tens of thousands of people go to his rock concerts. He has them openly denounce God. Openly. He says, I want you all to reject God tonight. And they all do it. So this is real stuff, people. He's very committed to this. He takes it, he's a minister in the Church of Satan. And they use music. Because music is fitna. It's enticing. It sucks you in. You like it. It's enjoyable. This is what he looked like when he was a little kid. And this is one of their symbols also. They use astrological symbols. This is him on stage. This was a cover of the Beatles because uh, John Lennon was heavily involved in magic. He was a follower of Aleister Crowley, who was a, 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 a magician. Uh, and and, and ha has massive influence on, 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 uh, on Western civilization. He's one of these unknown influences. But they followed him. This is, they're in doctor suits with abortion. They actually, the Warner Brothers was so disturbed by this that they covered it over. Now this has no shock value for people in the West. But in those days it had shock value. But this was an album cover that they chose. Because they believed in free sex, free sex necessitates abortions because people get unwanted pregnancies, right? This is khutawat shaitan That's how he takes people. That's why Allah says, wa birwaridaini ihsana, right? Allah says, wa la taqturu awladakum khashyat imlaq. Don't kill your children out of fear of poverty, but then, wa la taqrabu al-fawahish. Don't go near the fawahis that will make you want to kill your children. There they are doing these symbols. You see, and this is another symbol. Even though it means okay, it's actually a demonic symbol that represents 666.